This is Pastor Marquise Franklin from New Creation Christian Center presenting to you a word for today by Annis Fay. We pray that these short devotionals will impact your life. Now let's tune in. Hello, this is Harold Franklin, Senior Pastor at New Creation Christian Center with the word for the day. The topic for today is Take the Challenge. And our passage is coming out of Mark chapter 16, verses 17 through 18. And it says, And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick, and they will recover. Now when we read this passage, we always think, well, they're not talking to us. That's to the disciples. But we all know that he says to those that believe. So if you call yourself a believer, he's talking to us. So we need to learn how to take the challenge. Well, what's the challenge we're taking? Take the challenge to do what God says you can do. Take the challenge to, to step out on faith and believe God for the supernatural. Take the challenge to go forward and do something that you believe God has empowered you to do. The Bible says that the Spirit of God dwells in us now, and we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. So we have the power of the Holy Spirit that raised Christ up from the dead, living inside of us each and every day of our lives. And with that power, that is the same power that Jesus used to heal the sick, raise the dead, and cast out devils. One of the uh, big controversies that Jesus had with some of the Pharisees is that they claimed that he had cast out demons by the prince of demons, which was Beelzebub. Do you guys remember that story? Well, Jesus says, no, I cast out demons by the Spirit of God. Well, the Bible says that we are now indwelt by that same Spirit. So we need to learn how to take the challenge of faith, not the challenge of the flesh, not to, to go out and be a showman, but to take the challenge to lay hands on the sick and see people recover. This reminds me of a situation that I came across a few years ago and there was a gentleman who had been involved in a car accident and I had seen him for years and years and I didn't know what was wrong with him at that time. But I said, Lord, I'm gonna go and pray for this man. And so I went over to pray for him. I asked him if he would let me pray for him and he said yes and he had one of his arms was kind of locked against his chest and he couldn't open it. And, so I began to pray and, you know, I didn't do anything spectacular. I said, Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray that this person be healed. And so we started to work with his body and move body parts. I asked him to move parts that he couldn't move. And he began to open his hand and stretch his hand out. And it reminded me of that story where Jesus told the, uh, the man with the withered hand, stretch forth your hand. So he opened his hand. He was able to move his fingers and do things that he was not able to do. And I was just as surprised as he was because God was doing something in his body that he hadn't seen done in many, many years. So I say that we as God's people need to take the challenge, step up to the plate. When people come to us with sicknesses and diseases, don't be afraid. Don't let words like cancer or uh, incurable or uh, death sentences scare us. We believe in the power of God. We believe that God is able to do the impossible, or maybe we don't. But we need to decide if we do believe that. And then once we decide, we need to act on his word. Believe that there's nothing impossible for God. All things are possible to them that believe. So we need to believe today. We need to take the challenge of belief. Step out on faith. Lay hands on those that need prayer. Pray for those that need deliverance through casting out demons. Pray for those who need financial breakthroughs. Many of us find ourselves in that situation all the time. Believe God. The Bible says that he will meet all our needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. There is nothing God won't do if we allow him to do it and if we believe that he can do it. Amen? So believe God, take the challenge, step out on faith, and watch God do the impossible. We pray that this message has encouraged you today. 
and we invite you to join us Saturday nights at 7 p.m. in the Emerald City Bible Fellowship Building located at 7728 Rainier Avenue South, Seattle, Washington, 98118. Once again, that's Saturday nights at 7 at 7728 Rainer Avenue South, Seattle, Washington, 98118. If you have any prayer requests, comments, or questions, visit our website, newcreationwa.org. And on there, we have our links to our Facebook and Twitter sites as well. We would love to hear from you. God bless you.